<coughs> that's what you want to see. So when you finish these shots, if we look at the pitch in first, set it wise is good. We're going to keep that weight onto that front yeah, foot and we're going to rotate and pivot around that. We're not going to lean over it. And if there's a slight tendency, we just watch where that yellow line is relative to your head by your left shoulder. As you come forward, you can see Ooh, yeah. there's that kind of look yeah. to try and hit it, yeah? yeah we yeah. want to be getting that kind of turn through this. So you're using your torso. Yeah. Exactly. You're coming around this left hip now. And that's why we open up that left foot slightly, just to help that hip and torso turn through. Because you've got less speed with this thing, haven't you? There's yeah. less momentum, less sort of energy sending you around the corner. So if you try to kind of <laughs> go with the body, that body going here is going to throw the club out and that will lead to the... <clears throat> one of them unfortunately okay yeah so we're trying to rotate now what you end up doing is you finish the shot you then back it up after the shot here so you're actually finishing a good position, position yeah? yeah but you've it's kind of got a good position to hit the ball yeah exactly so we want to be making sure if i was to swing up against a wall for example obviously with no golf club i want my impact to be kind of here if you were chipping here now you'd have gone dunk and headbutted the wall wouldn't yeah, you yeah? Yeah, yeah so just trying to stay a little bit more centered but you're using the bigger muscles with chipping yeah we control the speed with the torso so like if i that. said to you like you stood to the side and you had a pint of beer on the table so i could just pass the pint mic you wouldn't go just yeah. fling you go oh, there you go and you turn your torso around because it's a more controlled movement yeah if i said to you i'll fling that ball as far as you could you go and throw it yeah you wouldn't sort of go yeah. and try and lunge your body so we're using the bigger muscles for control mm -hmm. and on the driver and the longer clubs maybe all three what did you send this is your primary focus there that right shoulder uh, okay. yeah. he in the back swing goes behind you yeah yeah then you turn on the way back now you get that right shoulder swing that right shoulder behind your arms are higher there aren't they yeah? Yeah, yeah yeah the clubs above your head there nicely and this shoulder now has gone behind you as you start down for literally a nanosecond it might feel like about two or three seconds to you but again real overfeel as we know that right shoulder stays back as you can see and the arms just fall yeah so you're not unwinding your body for that first part you're just letting the arms from here just fall yeah, oh, yeah. and that will keep this back it will stop that over the top roll with the hands and smother and flip and get you into position now so when you come back to the golf ball there impact there's your impact you everything's good? nicely in line and look at your heads behind the golf yeah, ball, see, which will create the shallow angle of attack you require with a wood or a fairway right. wood or a hybrid even okay and you're not fighting because your head's created the weight of, of, uh, beyond the ball you're yeah, yeah, exactly. behind it so yeah, you're, yeah. you're getting that momentum of your body right the and as through. you come to the golf ball there now you finish up on that left side you get to where you want to get to yeah yeah, yeah. so you haven't got to try to get there i think too early and the thing is i think what you had the long game you were trying to hit it with your big muscles and then the short game trying to hit it soft with the fast muscles or the fast joints yeah. which makes it very difficult to control yeah you yeah. want to use the bigger muscles to control the speed of that torso oh, okay. get the body moving this way and under control and then with the chip shots, okay, this is going to be more of the moving part. And I say the, the towel under the arm or the head cover or whatever, don't mind that so much with chipping. It's a little bit kind of awkward, but it lets it keeps your body and your torso moving together. But, you know, with so the you long the game, yeah. You're not, you're, 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 yeah. You need to be using your you body. You are using body. your body, but it's not the be on end or to try and get that speed. The ultimate thing when you get it's down to goal was that hand action is coming here. In this, isn't there, really? It certainly is, yeah. Got a science degree as well. No. <laughs> <Don't get it>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So using the right, basically the right tools for the job. Yeah. yeah. Using the bigger muscles for the big shots and for the, for the short shots and the fast moving joints for the okay. for the long shots. Good. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Right.